Welcome to Electro Online. So here we have four functions, four sine functions that kind of look the same, but they're not quite the same. And sometimes we get confused about how to find the derivative when we have something like this versus something like that. And they are very different, even though they look very similar. All right, so let's do that one again. That's kind of like we did in a video a few videos ago. Here, we simply have y equals the sine of some angle called x squared. So then when we find the derivative, y prime, well, the derivative of the sine is the cosine of x squared times the derivative of the angle x squared, so it's times 2x. And so this then comes out to be y prime equals 2x times the cosine of x squared. Now the second one is a little bit different. Notice here we have y equals the sine squared of x. So first we, knew, we need to use the exponential rule. So here we have y prime is equal to 2 times the sine to the first power of x times the derivative of the sine, which would be the cosine of x, times the derivative of the angle x, which is times 1. We don't have to write that, but just so that that's what we should be doing. And so therefore, we get y prime is equal to 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x. And sometimes I put parentheses around it to make that a little bit cleaner. All right, so what do we do when we have this? Well, essentially, there is no mathematical difference between these two. So again, what we do is we get y prime is equal to 2 times the sine of x to the first power times the derivative of what's inside, which is times the cosine of x times the derivative of the cosine of x, which is times 1. And so you can see we get the exact same thing. y prime equals 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x. So again, you can see that the derivative has to be the same because there was no difference between the two. It's just a different way of writing it. And finally, when we get something like this, well, let's see, this becomes uh, y prime is equal to the exponent in the front, 2 times the sine of to the first power of x squared times the derivative of the sine, which would be the cosine. So we have the cosine of x squared times the derivative of x squared, which is times 2x. And then when we simplify that, y prime becomes 4x times the sine of x squared times the cosine of x squared. And so you can see that these two are exactly the same. We have essentially three different functions on there, and that is how we take the derivative of all three. At least this way you can see what the subtle differences are um, and how to take the derivative of them. Isn't that an identity, two sine x, cosine x? Yeah, that's kind of half angle identity, but that's another thing. Huh? Is this an identity? No. Yeah, but that's good enough. We just want to find the derivative. 